your shield. <laughs> exactly. Like, if your shield has been already, like, damaged enough, like, it'll break. But uh, let's see who uh, who won't break first because it's going to be Deku versus, uh, I, I guess I'll just say Nerdo. Yeah, yep. Nerdo is Ner probably the way to say it. All right. Speaking of shield breakers, if Nerdo does get a shield breaker here, that can be a dead monkey because Deku's shield was looking really small, but Deku is controlling the stage right now with these grabs. Beautiful up, up throw is one of the least diable throws that Diddy has. So I like how Deku is using that when he gets a pivot grab on Nerdo, giving him a nice DI mix-up. Exactly, but right now Deku is not going to have anything of it. He's doing a pretty good job being the one in the lead here, doing the usual Diddy stuff. Mark does have a sword that, that can wall out Diddy, but it's one of those deals where like Diddy has a better Diddy has a better edge guard, mm -hmm. better neutral tools all together. So once Diddy is able to just get into Mark's face, it becomes really difficult for Mark to just fight out Diddy. Yep. Just like that, Diddy is beating him in the neutral because I believe this is a 55-45 for Diddy. I, I know it's uh -huh. yeah, I know it's annoying for like Marcina. Because I, I play it as well in uh, one of my most hated matchups. Yeah. But Deku is doing really well against this Mark right now. Yeah. It's it's important to know that like, even though Mark does have a sword that spaces you out, there is some aim lag to it. It's not like, you know, Mark can go like short hot double fair like he did in Brawl. Um, so Mark has a difficult time just trying to like, in terms of frame data, Diddy's winning because of the frame data because Mark swings his sword. Yes. Uh, so it's important to know that like, Nerdo wants to make sure he actually is spacing more than staying closer to Deku. I want to see Nerdo slow down his gameplay a little bit because in this matchup, what you really want to do against Diddy is to go second. You want Diddy to have the initiation and you want to have the spacing where you could optimally punish what he's doing. Especially when you have Tipper as Mark. It's, it's a really good damaging tool mm -hmm. and since Diddy is really susceptible off stage when he's not using monkey flip, yeah. So saying like when he has to do a vertical recovery, it's really good to use that tipper to your advantage because you could you cover a lot of space with just dare. Yeah. You also have back air and fair to cover him as he's coming up. Hmm. And Deku going with the fox pick probably wants to rush down Nerdo a little bit more because Nerdo was respecting his space. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Deku's spacing options are a little bit too much. So, I think this is a really good mix-up for Deku. He's gonna try to rush him down a little bit, play a little bit more neutral against Mark, and get some good damage, because Mark is not really good up close. Yeah, up close, Mark kind of struggles, but at the same time, like, if Mark can get Fox off the stage, like, we've seen what Cloud does to Fox, so Mark can potentially, in the sense, get the same thing, because he does have a pretty big sword. But it looks to me like Deku's not going to let anything happen because he's doing an excellent job of just trying to play a little bit of burst where he goes in for the damage but then he waits. Yeah, and Deku doing really well with that double jab up to back air. Beautiful stuff. He tried to get Balloon there so it wouldn't un interrupt his combos uh, later on in the game. But doesn't need to do that right now. He does have a really large lead on Nurdle, but a really good tipper from Nurdle can end the stock. Also, Nerdle's been trying to punish him with forward smash a lot. Um, yeah. I would like to see him try to go for a jab every once in a while. Yeah. Try to get a tilt once, uh, uh, one or two tilts in there when he's trying to punish Deku. Deku trying to read that with an up smash, he's not going to get it. Yeah, trying to get a chase, check, uh, I'm sorry, that tech chase. Oh, I lost my words there. <laughs> he was behind him, not sweet spotting. That's crazy. I'm sorry, he was trying to get the tech chase down, but unfortunately, uh, Nerdle was able to just get away from that in the nick of time. Uh, at this point right now, it's looking like a run over, but Nerdo still has the cards to pull this out. He just needs to take out the stuck. I respect that forward smash this time around, because he was trying to call out Deku's side B option. Yeah, that was really good spacing on his part. He was just a little bit too far to punish Deku, but I, I do like that forward smash in that instance. Oh, he tried to get him with a down smash, it seemed, but he's going to uh, get up there for it. Try to lead him with that forward air, and unfortunately, I feel like he fast folded a little too soon, so the hitbox wasn't able to co come out, and Deku just punishing for that with a grab and a raw up smash, just waiting for the man to land. 